Hello everyone, my name is Nex. So today I'm going to talk about an interview about the film A Clockwork Orange. Uh, first I'll give a simple and quick introduction about the film. Then I'll invite my best friend, actually he's my brother, uh, to talk about to discuss the film, the details. Uh, so first I'll give a simple and quick introduction about the film. The film A Clockwork Orange is directed by Stanley Kubrick in 1971. The film was viewed by modern people as one of the most influential film of that era and it influenced a lot of the tons of movies now. And the plot was actually quite simple. The plot was about a teenager named Alex Lard and his bad games. They did crazy stuff like uh, crack into a person's house. Uh, maybe beat up uh, an old man on the street and some bad stuff like that. One time his friends, his gangs betrayed him and later he was sent into jail. In the jail he heard that there was an experiment, a treatment that can cure violence and criminals in just two weeks. And Alex D. Large set all his heart to get out of jail. So he volunteered to do the experiment. And later on he was released from jail and he was once again a free man. Um, the rest of the film is just about how Alex Lard will suffer from his past and later on make a deal with the government and I could say no more. Uh, the rest of the film should be experiment and ex dis discover, explore by audiences themselves, not myself. So, that's the end of the quick introduction. Just jump into the interview right away. So, what is your name? Uh, my name is Louis Fox. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, he's my brother. Uh, so, uh, I have a few questions to like interview you, okay? Yes. Uh, first, have you ever heard the movie uh, A Clockwork Orange? Yeah, it's a very classic ultra violence movie. Oh yeah, and what do you think about film? Like uh, just a little bit uh, thoughts about the film. Movie. Oh, I really think it is classic. First of all, I think this movie is very uh, innovative because it is a very, it is a very very first attempt of the concept ultra violence. The why the 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 concept is like putting a beautiful music such as Beethoven correspond with the violent movie scene like beating old men or beating people on the streets. And I think it is really a video shock to me when I first see the movie. And not only that, but also the rape scene. The rape scene, uh, as I know, I didn't see any mainstream movies which have a rape scene in it. Uh, I, I believe you have a lot of thoughts about this masterpiece movie uh, and so I wanna I wanna ask you a, a more question about what you just say uh, well you know that uh, there's uh, besides ultra violence and some visual shocks that you experienced while you watch the film yeah. including like rape scene um, there is something like uh, the dictatorship in the movie uh, do you know anything about that, the dictatorship, or maybe you can uh, state your opinion or uh, have something to say for this matter? Actually, I have some really deep thought about about this dictatorship because the 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 movie name a cockroach orange, which means the orange, it is a uh, organic and alive things, but a cockroach. Is a mechanic and it don't have it's it's, it's not organic and it's just a machine. The contrast is like a, a Hogwarts orange, which represents the main character Alex the Large, which is once an orange and which is violence. As the plot goes by, he just get involved in the treatment. Uh, it's so called treatment, but it oh, really sorry. wipe out his whole. To humanity, he really 
get rid of every aspect of his humanity, not only the bad but the good and also the natural of his humanity. Um, I think it is what the Ruby really wants to tell us. I think I have two questions left for you to answer. Um, do you think the treatment worked for Alex the Lord? The truth is, I think the treatment really worked for him. Because it's, he, just like I said before, it really destroyed his humanity. Cause so, so, so it really works. In the word of destroying his violence aspect. One last question for you. Um, do you like the film? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it wasn't it. Okay. Well, this is the end of my interview. Oh, I guess that's the end. Peace. Peace. Oh, that's the end of the interview. So here are some more interesting facts about the movie itself. The first one is the movie was actually suspended by the director Stanley Kubrick himself. Because after the, re the movie was released uh, a, a year after, um, there are a lot of violent things happened in England because as you can you could see in the film, the film was taken place in England and it wasn't until his death in recent years that the movie was re-released and opened to the public. The second fact about the film is that the film was filmed just because the the director Stanley Kubrick was lack of budget for his next film. That is the end of my interview video. I hope you like it and you are welcome to leave your ideas and opinions on the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a nice day.